So this video is going to just briefly show you how to create dummy variables. Now you're going to need to create dummy variables for your regression analysis whenever you've got a nominal variable with multiple categories or sometimes when you've got a ordinal variable that you'll want to convert. So in this example we'll look at social economic class. Um, let's have a quick look at the social economic class variable to, to see what we're talking about. So if we go to the SEC uh, row and then along to the column marked values we can click on the corner of that cell to see how the variable is actually coded. So you can see that values of 1 in our data set represent the higher managerial and professional occupations and the um, occupations listed become uh, decreasingly affluent basically right down to nev number 8 never worked uh, long term unemployed. Um, so what we need to do is actually we'll need to create a series of dummy variables where, whereby each each variable looks at a direct comparison between one of those categories as a reference category and the category each dummy variable represents. So actually we'll need seven dummy variables and an extra one for cases where the data was missing. So we're going to actually be creating eight dummy variables to represent this one nominal variable. So what we need to do is we need to choose a reference category. Now in this case we've gone for never work long term unemployed because that will make the most interesting comparisons when we when we come to look at the regression analysis. So if you call when when you actually finish your regression analysis you'll get this table of coefficients. Um, for each dummy variable we, we create, um, the coefficient for that variable will represent the the difference in predicted score between someone within that category, so let's say uh, higher manager and professional and someone from our reference category which is never work long term unemployed so we'll be able to see how the model um, sees changes in social economic class as altering the prediction of our outcome variable which will be um, age 14 exam scores okay so let's now actually create the dummy variables or show you an example of how to create one and um, we're actually what we're going to be doing is re recoding an existing variable into a set of new variables so if we go to transform you'll see that these options here are recode into same variable or recode into different variable so we're creating these new variables so we'll go recode into different variable so what we need to do now is tell SPSS how how to create these dummy variables now remember our dummy variables are going to be dichotomous um, for each category a, a 1 will represent that the participant belongs to that category and a 0 will represent that they do not so across all of the different dummy variables actually all of the categories will be represented in our in our final analysis if we include all dummy variables into the model so what we need to do is tell first of all tell SPSS which variable we're interested in recoding so if we go and find SEC in our list on the left here and pull that across now we need to tell um, SPSS what our output variable will be. So for each dummy variable what we'll actually do is we'll just give it a, a brief tag SC for social class and a number to represent the, the category it was taken from. So the first one we'll do is we'll look at the higher managerial category which was coded 1 and call it SC1 and then in the label we'll write higher managerial. Okay and then click change and it'll say numeric uh, numeric variable to output variable SEC to SC1. Now what we need to do now is is tell SPSS what values we're interested in. So we'll click all the new vari all the new values, sorry. Um, and we'll say that a value of one on SEC, so any value of one on SEC, which is as we know the higher managerial, is also a value of one for the new variable. And we'll add that to the list. Now actually any other variable, any other sorry response that the participant gave to to social economic class, we want to now code as zero. So we just put all other values zero and add. So there we go. We have else goes to zero. So basically, if they belong to the manager higher managerial category, they'll receive a one. Any other value they give for SEC, they'll receive a, a zero for this new variable. So we just need to click continue and then OK and the output box will, will click open. We actually just need to go back to our data set just to check that that worked. So we go to variable view, scroll down to the bottom and there we see our SC1 variable has now appeared. The label's higher managerial and values will either take 0 or 1. 
which we can see if we look on the main data set one way of having a look is just to scroll along to the end so most values are obviously going to be zero because most people aren't in this category but we've got a few ones there so if we select that whole column just double check that this has worked yeah yeah so values of one have been coded as one for our new variable that we've created so now what we actually need to do is, is create um, seven more of these so another uh, two through seven for the for the other um, social economic classes and an SC, SC0 for missing data. And here's one we prepared earlier. So if you um, go onto the main Lipsy data, we'll see that you, we've actually created all these um, social economic class dummy variables already, SC1 through 7. Each one represents um, one of the categories, but of course our reference category of unemployed uh, or long term unemployed is missing plus we have um, SC0 for SEC missing and to do this we've just repeated the same process for recoding into different variables over and over again so that concludes how we create dummy variables